Today Jacob's gonna make a rat gear. He chose 1035 cold rolls for this gear. When you cut the surface of any cold roll, you relieve the tension on that particular surface. And so since he is going to be cutting the gear from one end of it to the other end of it, it will warp a small amount, but uh, it's not not difficult to straighten it back out, so it'll only warp a few thousands. He chose to use the shaper to make this gear, even though he could have used the horizontal or vertical mill. But since it has to be geared all the way between the ends, um, the shaper ends up being the easiest machine to use for this particular job. Right now he's just cleaning the surface and leveling it up, making sure it's perfect and true. After he gets it all trued up, he'll begin cutting the teeth. The shaper is kind of slow, but it's extremely accurate. Still working on this rack gear here at Heavenly Machining. This is the tool I've ground to 20 degrees to fit the rack gear. This fits the old one. And I just used it to copy to make the new one. This is a piece of Crucible Rex 95 high speed steel. Setup's going to take a while, so we'll do it in high speed. This is in fast motion, as you can tell, to save time. You can see that the stroke on the shaper has been reduced down to where it's not extending way beyond the metal. To make the strokes more efficient, it, the stroke is just the length of the rack gear is all. He's adjusting the depth right now as it runs. Notice he's using cutting oil. Helps to keep that high speed steel cool. And it reduces friction during the cut. Uses a brush to keep the chips cleaned away so that the teeth come out clean.
as you can see the shaper moves fairly slow when it's in normal speed and there it's all finished Thank you for watching and if you have any comments go ahead and put comments down below and subscribe for more videos. Thank you.